coming and provide uh, this side of the story. Uh, who's the person speaking out of it? So, some of the, the specific things that, that, that we want the journalists to show us about today. So, as I said, <coughs> A few weeks ago, we exposed a plan by government and particularly this one regime to allocate parliamentary seats in a very specific way in the National Assembly, which will allow Swako to maintain an overwhelming majority while at the same time it will select PDM as the official opposition uh, for granting them 10 plus 1 seat as well as LPM uh, maximum 6 seats. Yesterday and this morning again, that still is the plan. That after they close all the voting and that all the uh, what results are counted, that the LPM will receive six seats, but the two will be reduced to make sure that the LPM receives four seats. In other words, when we spoke about this very matter a few months ago, PDM denied it. Swapo was quiet, ECN was silent, and all other people were laughing at the theorization of LPM, which was essentially also a practical reality. We have on good authority now been able to verify certain things that we'll point out to the media today. And so therefore, we are here to tell you that as far as the plot to rig the elections are concerned, the plot is very much on. The plot is being executed successfully. The plot is being executed razor sharply, yet their own methodologies seem to be problematic for them. Hence the delays in announcements, hence the allocation of uh, regions as having been counted, and then removal of those very regions to adjust the numbers in accordance with the realities that they see. So as we speak, a mess of old drinking and manipulation is taking place, and we know where and what it is. We have intel that basically indicates to us that EVMs are essentially irrelevant, that EVMs are merely a, a sneak window opportunity for these people to look into what the real results are but that they have set up an alternative and parallel system designed and constructed solely for the purpose of rigging the elections in favor of Swapo Party and those that it nominates and selects. In, in essence, therefore, the 2019 elections in the Republic of Namibia, as has been the other election, uh, elections before, has certainly become not an election, but is a selection process conducted from State House and uh, spearheaded by cyber criminologists uh, from various countries. We have it on good record that a contingent of foreign computer specialist programs were brought into the country. We have credible intelligence that guys in this contingent is a group of maximum five specialists who are effectively cyber criminologists or in plain English hackers. It is now clear that vote manipulation is taking place and that the hackers are located inside the ECN building. And this has been confirmed by multiple sources, among which media and patriotic ECN staff are telling us. We have, of course, discerned a clear pattern of manipulation. The votes are increased for Swapo and reduced at other contestants of these elections. For instance, according to the declared votes, Swapo and between brackets, Hage leads in Erongo. However, our assessment according to the votes counted in the region, Itula has the majority as presidential candidate. The same type of strategy is being implemented in Ohangwena, Komas, and Umsati regions. In Karas, Swapo did not uh, outperform LPM. The results actually show a different story. In other words, in the presidential elections, it appears that Itula is being denied the votes that he legitimately obtained and that votes are reduced for Mr. Itula or Dr. Itula. In 
Eltham's instance in Paris and Harder, areas that we by far defeated Swapo have been either created as a neck and neck race, subsequently with LPM's votes being reduced, and or Swapo obtaining an edge over LPM. And over and above that, you can see also in areas in Iran where we have been dominant, UDF and PDM are catapulted forward. Moreover, in Ojobanjuba, it is said that Nudo has taken that region which is entirely false. What we are therefore seeing is that Swapo Party has selected PDM as the official opposition and Nuto as its partner, while LPM can undeniably not be removed from the system, but that they have kept on reducing the voter capacity of LPM and keeping it below 18,000. In the final analysis, we are informed that LPM will obtain a maximum of 30,000 votes. That would guarantee six seats minus two that will be removed from LPM. So for me, this is so far the situation. I will hand over to Dave to give the technical expose. And again, revert back to me, Dave. The floor is yours. Okay, basically, with, uh, good afternoon, my name is David. I'd just like to point out to you how they are manipulating the votes. If you look at what we have, the schematic layout of, of what they're trying to do, or actually doing and succeeding, if we look at uh, this sheet where all national results are now being released as per constituency. Clearly, we can see here that SOPO has taken all votes from various other political parties and they're giving a picture in terms of leading by far in these constituencies that they've released. What they are doing, and this is what we clearly would like to point out, and this is what we have found. They have a gap computer that is located nearby ECN. They then manipulate the votes on this specific gap computer whose IP address we've also identified. They then use a USB device to transmit or transfer the data from the GAP computer after they've manipulated to the server. The server station on which they then load the information with the USB is the station known as uh, mujoro at ecn.na. They then <laughs> to a database. From the database, they then have the screen where they transmit all of the information that is already read. So if, if, we can, if we can see what they're doing, they split this whole process into two sections. The section where they are manipulating on site, this means that uh, they have a station there, the gap computer is there. They have it on site, very nearby. We've also the exact location where they have it. Can you give the exact location? The exact location is Web Street, number 67. What? Web Street. How do you spell it? Okay. Uh, w E W B. And then they transferred to the station Mujoro at ECN.na. I'd just like to highlight the process again. And then they transferred from there, which is already read, they then transferred onto a server or database, which is on a network. So this portion of the entire process is what they have you know, on the website. Where they are doing the actual reading is the system that is totally not on any network. So hence the transfer of the data via a USB device. So this is what we picked up. So in a nutshell, what we are trying to say here based on all of these findings, is that all of these results, all of these results, all of these results here that are listed here, all of these constituencies that they've listed, which is now 45, is completely rigged and by a very, very high margin in favor of one political party, which in this case is the Swapo party. So that, that ends my presentation. Okay, so what we basically have is in our understanding that an Indian contingent came 
that the Indian contingent is working offline and that the cyber criminologists are with the approval and consent of the ECN executing operations from within the ECN and nearby. Now, they have already fixed the results at a certain level. The EVM voting... Yes. Sorry, I just want to highlight yeah. what, what our leader is here alluding is they have specific percentages and we've studied how they upload the results. Mm -hmm. They're keeping a specific percentages in terms of how, how SOPO should have the votes, how PDM should have the votes, which they are now forcing as the official opposition, which is even not the case according to our findings. Mm -hmm. So there is a specific pattern that we can trace in terms of how they are uploading the results. Why there is a delay is the transfer process. We can see that they are on site, the, the guy needs to get back on site, they need to then load it on, and when they get here, they are still trying to manipulate there as well. Because they take long, they see what the responses are that is coming from the community as they load. Where they want to adjust, and this is what we've seen, if you go to Irongo, they, they're showing there that Swapo is leading by far. And then they're saying PDM is following. They're saying that number third is UDF, which is actually not the case, according to results that we have. But then what they're trying to do for Itula, is our candidate Itula, is that if you go to presidential, which I'll quickly go into, they then decided, this is why it takes time, because the manipulation they're trying to justify in terms of how they want to do it. They then go and they push up presidential candidate, uh, independent candidate for Irongo and Comas, as you can see there. They're saying Itula's leading in Comas, they're saying he's leading, leading in Irongo. They're putting him second, but in actual fact, if you look at the results, he's actually taken those constituencies. But then they come back to the National Assembly uh, results, and there they transfer the votes back to Swapo. So the idea is that, yes, let's give Itula a little bit, but Swapo must take all the votes. That, that is what they, they're trying to do. And this is a pattern, the 66, 65, PDM, those percentages are kept consistent. You can see now with the additional um, constituencies that they've inserted that the votes for LPM is they're beginning to drop there. You can then also see specific areas whom we know according to what information we've received from our people on site. Khibian constituency, they have the results but it's not uploaded. You go to Aranos, they have the, they had the results, they uploaded according to our statistics we are supposed to have led there remarkably they've taken that and they've given those votes to, to, to the ruling party. They've then also, all, all the results for the Marita Urban, they did the same. All those results were withheld. Because constantly they need to sit, check responses and then adjust the information. So what is happening is, to for, suit their narrative. for instance, in, in Erongo, Itula was leading by 100%. Mm. If Itula has 8,000, Hage would have 4,000. But they have changed the game. And where Itula leads, Ike has been given the lead. But they have now readjusted to say, let's give him a little bit edge, but still Ike must lead. That has been the same in the northern areas where, where Itula has had the lead. For instance, Ohangwena, Itula, Itula's figures were, were quite high there. They went there and adjusted those figures. Now, if you can look, the Sopo is apparently leading there. And what they do is there are two there are two strategies. First, they load, and when they see that there is a degree of rejection, they remove what they have loaded. That's why there is a, the whole of last night. It was stagnant. It was stagnant. Thirty-one this constituencies. Morning. Yes, and then they added two more constituencies. Mm -hmm. What the point I'm trying to make is there was a lot of switching on and off of the server mm -hmm. um, because uh, the, the the hacking has to be rationalized. And it has but given that, they're not doing it properly as well. Yeah. Um, but because it's an extremely difficult thing for them. They, 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 and, and you can see now, all of these results now apparently came in. And uh, this is for uh, Irongo, the Epembe.
they are adding. Everyone is just adding, which can't be the case. So, okay, just promise me not to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now, um, what we are seeing is in the initial outcomes where people actually at the polling stations produce results, those results are, are not being used at all. Mm -hmm. They are irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Where it actually took place, mm -hmm. where the EVM, however we can criticize it, has been used and generated results, those results have been thrown away. And those are the results that journalists and other people obtain because they were posted, yeah. they were placed everywhere for people to see, pictures were taken and it was circulated. Those results, you remember during the fishermen and the defense and police uh, 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 special vote, they said that's fake news. They are continuing with that. Those actual results at polling stations are not being used as a measure of uh, actual results that parties recorded. It is being used as a measure to see how well or bad Swapo did and to use it merely as an instrument of rationalizing the extent to which they must tweak the results. And so therefore, Kara's heart up has been painted red. Red in the elections is for Swapo. But when you see, there is for instance two areas where we outperformed by 1,000, uh, two polling stations. But now for the whole of that constituency, LPM is only 397, the whole. While at two polling stations, we obtain more than in the collector, only at two, more than 2,000 votes. Uh, you can see uh, that in Carlsberg East, where we won, they changed it, and they are now the ones in, in the lead. Marintal, they have also changed it, that they are now in the lead. Aranos, they have also changed it, that they are in the lead. But they are not loading all the areas where we are leading, Daveb and other areas also, because they need to deal with those numbers, rationalize them, put us in third place, and load it on the system, and create this, this PDM has done well. PDM, on the first basis of what we received, did well in Rehoboth West. That's where they did well. But they are tweaking it so that PDM is a constant second. So Swapo is selecting, there's no more election, it is selecting how it must get, where, how much, who must be the second presidential candidate, which party must take the second lead and by what percentage. Uh, and so therefore, essentially, this election has become a selection. And, 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 and what happened at election day is merely used as a prism to see how they can allocate seats. That which happened at election day has ceased to be relevant. What is happening at Web Street and what is happening at Theo Muyoro's computer, that is the actual manipulation. What it then tells you? is that Muyoro himself is complicit mm -hmm. in the manipulation of results. Mm -hmm. This is what it tells you. What it also tells you is that the, 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 the painful effort that people have put in to garner votes, to put up manifestos, and to really sweat to exercise their democratic right and to compete in the space of ideas has become irrelevant. And that is why Swapo constantly says, no matter what, we will always win because they have the ECN as an extension of the vote mandate that Swapo seeks to maintain. Now, when you have five cyber criminologists stationed inside the ECN and everyone talks about it, we have the IP addresses. I think we'll give the IP addresses. Yes, we'll give the IP addresses. Then you realize there is a fundamental problem in terms of how democracy is perceived. And, and I'm wondering, collectively us, of course, what is it that observers have come to do? Have they come to see whether there is no violence, whether electricity is on at stations, whether polling stations opened at time, closed on time, whether people did not wear party colors, whether in the lines, whether people did not intimidate and harass others, whether police did not beat up people? Is that what they are looking for? Or oh, are they actually looking for the substantive integrity of elections and how the fucking people are messing up the elections. Because we have really earned the right to even use the F word. We have worked so hard. 
with so many resources from our own that these people are just simply by the click of buttons coming in and in fact sending intelligence officials to our houses to tell us, fellows, this is what you're going to get. So we have now to be satisfied with four seats. Four seats. That's, that's apparently what we deserve. But we know it's a different story. Because what happened in this election was that the reality of people leaving Swapo in massive numbers mm -hmm. was evidenced by the initial results. A nine-month-old party got two regions clean, clear, absolutely with phenomenal lead from Swapo. While analysts who are never on the ground mm -hmm. were saying we will not make a dent in Swapo constituency, we did it in at least the two regions that came out. We've done it. Nine months, and what it then shows also is the transportation of passengers mm -hmm. from rally to rally of Swapo. As we told people, has been evidence that while their meetings were full, they didn't have the people in actual locations that would be voting. Suddenly, in Marinta, in Kedmans, mm -hmm. where the meetings were full, Swapo lost so mm -hmm. badly. So they were deserted. Itula did well. All things set aside. He did well in Ventu, he did well in the coastal area, Swako, Wolfish Bay, and he did well in pockets of the north. And by far, he really did well. Itula's success, I'm not saying he's the victor, because there is no basis for me to say, but honestly, from what we've seen, what he has obtained, he has been denied that. And to avoid a possible uprising of young people, they are re-rationalizing and checking what, what, what it is that they, must, that they must allocate to people and, and how they must allocate it. So I am calling, together with the leadership of the LP, for these Sadek observers, who are essentially made up of former liberation movements, the same parties that have come to Hage Kengo to, to foresee to foresee a landslide victory. They foresaw the landslide victory. They came from the airport, they drove to State House. Between the airport and State House, they foresaw a landslide victory. How do you do that? <laughs> Imagine they go into Tanzania from the airport in Dodoma or Dar es Salaam to State House. He can already tell you are going to have a landslide victory. Either it's very powerful witchcraft or it's, uh, it's something else. These parties that foresaw the victory, landslide victory by the way of Swap are the ones that are also the observers. So what does it tell us about the state of democracy in Sadek? What does it really tell us? When former liberation parties, movements, who sent delegates <coughs> to each other's party congresses to give solidarity, which solidarity never is on holiday, even during elections. That solidarity never goes away. That they are the principal observers of elections. Which Swapo will go and declare, or even move a motion, that elections in Zimbabwe, when ZANU is predicted to win, have not been free and fair? Come on. Why SADC did not even have MDC and EFF and other opposition political parties as part of the SADC family? It, it, it boggles our mind. I do not know the extent which the Americans are involved in these elections. I, I, I don't know the EU observers. The problem also with the EU observers is as long as white interests are protected at times because they feel that we are a threat to white interests, which I don't believe it should be the case because we are building and trying to build one Namibia, the EU probably will also declare the elections free and fair. But radio access, television access during election campaigns have also not been free, free, free nor fair already. And now you have a system in which ECN is given an instruction. Results that advantage Swapo must go through. That, that, is, that, is, that is the instruction that they are given. No other results can go through. Now, if we were so terrible, and if we disrespected the will of the citizens of this country, we could also have hired cyber criminologists. We could also have hired people to hack into the system. We could have done it. 
But where does it end? Where does it end? If everyone can get a hacker to hack into the numbers, what is the purpose of voting? What would it be? What is it about at the end of the day? What is the exercise about? Because honestly, for the first time, we have so many young, capable people from our team, and we have been asking experts from Germany, from the USA, from South Africa to help us check and verify these things. They have helped us to check these things. But elections should be ethical. It must have an integrity that is near impeccable. Because if elections and the institution that is running elections is in the pocket of a ruling party, then what is the issue here? This is a very serious issue. If eventually LPM is awarded four seats, what is it that we must do knowing that those that are still pushing for a two-thirds majority will be seated across us? We are asking ourselves this question. What do we do? Do we accept the four seats, go in and make noise as much as possible? Do we stay away and disadvantage those that voted for us, even if their vote is not represented as it ought to have been? What do you do when you know elections are rigged? What do you do? Someone will say, go to court. Someone will say, go to court. But to whose court? What Nivi, who was presiding on the electoral court, electoral tribunal, is an old Swapo. Damasel, Waitele, Shivute. These are old Swapo members, fundamentally. These are old Swapo members. So all we are saying is the system is captured and the deep state is manifested probably at best in the election results. That's where the deep state is manifested. So we try to reach out. <clears throat> to Itula to say let's talk let's talk you are being robbed we are being robbed we did well in the south the central the central north the west the central west and the, 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 the central northeast central I say then we picked up votes in Kavango and so now Itula did well in the northern belt and the western belt particularly in pockets uh, of Wolfish Bay and so on. We said, let's talk. We are waiting for a response to talk. You know, Brigitte, this is the time that I, for the first time, understand. It's the first time that I understand many things in my adult life. <laughs> what a late adult uh, life. This is the first time I understand why the gun is relevant in enforcing elections. If today we had guns, we would probably have zoned off a perimeter and say, in this area, we won. Let's set up a government in this area. In that area, Itula, you won. Set up an area with your guns. That area, Hake, you won. You can take that area. For the first time, I really under I always thought that Africans just like war, they like nonsense, they like chaos, they like self-destruction. But when you constantly are strangled by a system that presents itself as professional, but fundamentally is wretched and rigged, and where independence of the judiciary is not at all functional, you understand the need for a gun in politics in Africa. You understand? We work so hard, Catherine. We work so hard. So hard. We traveled. We had heat and cold and sun and wind and hunger and donkey meat and rotten fish, all of these things we were eating. We gained weight, we lost weight, we became ugly, some became extra fat, some became old, some became senile, some became smarter, some dumber, but we kept on working hard. 
Because we thought that, well, if Swapu is so strong, why would they fear elections? And I just said, go vote me out. But they talk tough because they have prepared a system that will defend their illegitimacy. And you will have international community now signing agreements of cooperation, recognizing government of the Republic of Namibia, and they will ignore this. This, this will be ignored. They will say this is sour, uh, sour, sour grapes and, and so on. We are bad losers. If you lose honestly, you can go over to the winning team and say, well done, man. You outdid us here, you outdid us there. Then life goes on. You go and improve. But in this way, you can't even make projections that last year we performed well like this, and uh, in the previous year we didn't do well here, therefore let us uh, uh, improve here. Last time the message was here. You can't even do polling. You, you can't do polling. And what shocked Swapo is that without any donor funding, without any millions pumped in by Jack Wang or by any other one who hangs some way, we were able to achieve a significant victory. Two regions. What were the implications that they had to re remove it? Going for by-elections, Kepo's urban constituency was down. We're going to take it. Khobabas, we're going to take it. Khobabas, we're going to take it. Komastal North, we're going to take it. Those three, we were sure of. Those three, we were sure, sure of. Now, UDF is being revived. In Korehas, Swapo took the lead, followed by UDF. When we were campaigning, there was no UDF. There was none. In the deepest former UDF strongholds, there was none. There was none. So, here we are. Um, Dave, do you have something else to add? Are you sure about the technical things? The IP address. Okay. IP. Yeah, I can give you the IP address. Yeah, you must yeah. give them. The IP address. We'll, we'll give it to you. After. What I'm not so sure is whether it is a, a stagnant IP address. Yeah, or whether the IP address can be moved. Yeah. They can move the station, the web address. Even now, they could have moved already. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But, you but, the, but the, we, we, there are five guys, so we should maybe looking at, they probably have three on site and maybe two off site. So hence, that little delay. That's why, I mean, how can you still be counting while you're claiming to have an EVM system that is working? You should have completed the should have, The election should have been done already. It should have yeah, been yeah. done. Because yeah. there and there, you, you, have, you mm -hmm. just get, get this thing going. Yes, Brigitte. Okay, thank you very much for these rather yeah. revealing statements. Um, it is actually not new. Mm. Uh, it is alleged when COD was formed in mm. 1999 yes. that the elections were rigged. Mm. In uh, 2009, when the mm. Yidipo Amotendia mm. mm. Party was formed, mm. it, the elections, mm. it was alleged they were rigged. Mm. And um, and now again, when a new party was formed, mm. so my my question is: since uh, we media can compare the election results between the media media holdings election um, site, mm. and yesterday afternoon I checked Irongo, and everything David said is of course true. Itula was leading, especially also in Arandis. Swapo got high votes in Arandis, but Itula took the presidential race. Yesterday afternoon, um, according to the Namibia media holdings, this election.my.na mm -hmm. mm -hmm. site, um, the opposition together had, um, I think, they, they anyway had majority. Swapo had narrowly lost. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't have a provincial system, so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter so much. In the end, it matters how many, how many seats in parliament you get. But the question is now, what are you going to do. Um, mm. I'm sure the electorate expect from LPM yeah. to take some steps, even if it means going to court. We all know what happened to the previous election court case. Mm. It disappeared in thin air because of a wishy-washy ruling mm. in the Supreme Court and allegations that um, the result was, or the, the ruling was concocted in a certain lawyer's office yeah. with the cards of certain high-ranking Swapo mm -hmm. politicians parked in front. 
So what are you going to do, or will you tell us at a later stage? Because I'm sure everybody expects LPM to do something. Also, you have a responsibility. The youth and many voters are frustrated, and we, I think nobody wants an uh, uprising. We would want an uprising, actually. That is massive. Uh, that can literally drag those idiots out of their offices and beat the bloody hell out of them. Can I add to that? Yes, add please. How long have you known about this address, the web address? Just two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. Why didn't you march to Web House, to Web Street mm -hmm. and drag them out of the house? Two days ago we were still trying at best to lobby people. Mm -hmm. You know? We were still you, working very hard think, to lobby. I think they need to be an action against that place. I, I think a demonstration or a protest or something around the place. And but I feel like they move. I don't know. But you can see, it's off that one. They can move it around. They can move it if we're well, highlighting. So many on and off network CDs mm. and so called official exactly. website and Zoomap having a five minute uh, mm. power outlet yeah. Yeah. Mm. for the purpose. Mm. But the question, <coughs> the question is. Um, Catherine, I, I join you on that. Uh, why don't you do a, a, a civil demonst demonstration? I, uh, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Maybe in Europe, it doesn't. Noah is still in his position. Let's go to the house. Let's go to Web Street right now. Yeah, let's take a picture. I go and, and yeah, yes. confront them. Yes, I you know why? Yeah, no. yeah. Do you know? Do you know why Shangala and Eso lost their position? Not because you journalists wrote it. Because a European country's media house wrote it. So, as long as the Europeans are loyal in declaring elections free and fair, and as long as the Americans are with Swapo, nothing will bother them. Nothing will bother them. So you're not going to demonstrate, you're not going to take... I'm, I'm thinking about, we well, yeah, have obviously said that's what we're going to do tomorrow. But tomorrow is too late? Well, whether it's tomorrow or today, we still have to look at these results. Uh, you, you, you people are just doing stories. We have to, to explain things to people and, and get papers and these things to collect numbers and so on. The issue here is what is the eventual outcome of a demonstration? So we have to calculate what is it? It's exposing the people, it's making them explain who they are, what they are, what they do. And if it were up to me, I was going to say check every Indian and beat every Indian that you see on the street because they are probably part of the Indians that are, that are happy. I could have said it, but. Uh, exposing how many times have people not been exposed? What does it help? Frontline newspapers, uh, articles about uh, corruption and about this, that, and the other. Still, this is what is happening. Sorry, sorry for the pun. It leaves a paper trail. Um, your your actions. Mm. Um, at least. You one day can say to your children and the next generation of voters, we yeah. tried to leave no stone unturned. Yeah, yeah. We tried all our democratic options, our judicial options, social protests, etc. Mm. Uh, but doing nothing will not bring anybody. I would say we are going to do nothing. We, are, we have demonstrations that were lined up. That's good to know. But, but we are. from where we are, you must understand that we are outcome driven. Demonstrations are a bunch of noise uh, that people make. Uh, knowing the experiences here, it will be in the front page and, and nothing will happen. Um, you try to explain to people, you can, some of the observers just don't want us to even explain things to them because they are blah, blah, blah. Take your seats, just shut up, go in and fight from inside. So we have been meeting observers, but they, they just don't care. And, and, and Swapo and others know that, or election observers also don't care much. It's, ah, small political parties that just want to cry foul, uh, and that's it. So yes, there will be demonstrations that, that we are planning, and there will probably be some action that we will undertake uh, after we, we have uh, analyzed further some of these things. Uh, so surely there are things that we are going to be doing. That, that much is for sure. Yes. Another question. Can you just quickly explain or, or um, get into a bit more detail when you sit at the beginning um, they sent intelligence people to our houses. Yeah. Uh, can you maybe elaborate yeah. on that? Some of them are really uh, conscientious citizens who really want to share with us what the plans are. So they, they have, of course, come to say, look, fellas, this is what the guys are saying. You're going to get four seats. 
If it's very good. saying it, ECM, it's, The State House has directed them, and they are very much a part of the teams that must make sure that those things happen. So some of these state security agents are deployed at the ECM. Um, and they call each other. I mean, yesterday we said, well, show us. And they called someone and said, no, these guys are confirming you'll get 30,000 votes. That's all you're going to get. And uh, four seats, uh, definitely. So that is what you're going to get. So they are conscientious. And this morning, again, another one called and said, guys, I'm confirming. So what we do is we have at least five to six of them. What a magical number. They keep on telling us information. So we keep on verifying what the one says to the other. But these are people that are close to the powers that be. Uh, some are, uh, are calling uh, our leaders to give messages that it's for four seats uh, or five seats. Uh, if it's very good, we'll, we'll serve less votes. So um, we, we, we have come a long way with them. And all the things that they are telling us have so far really been to the point because they are the ones given the instructions to implement the messages that they come and give us. Uh, so in the instance of the previous uh, elections, Brigitte, I would hope that perhaps this time for a court case, the technological abilities will, will, will give us an advantage of some sort. Uh, but uh, whether uh, Namibian puppet courts would take the Kenyan rule is, 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 is an unlikely thing. There was a rumor going around uh, uh, when we wanted to meet Itula that there are plans for a military coup and that weapons got lost in one of the military bases and therefore uh, please avoid Itula and we just say to rubbish, don't, don't, don't come with this nonsense, we have that before we, we know what, what it is oh, about. How oh, Kenya, yes, yes, that type of thing. So they're also trying to mark Itula, uh, uh, and, and apparently they have memorized his car's uh, registration number. Wah, 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 wah. But all we are saying is that when these elections results are announced, whoever goes to the Bizen Swabo and claims victory, Whoever goes from PDM and claims second space, they know they are lying. They know they are lying, and they know that they are not that strong at all. In fact, they have been broken down into pieces that are irreparable. Uh, Swabo will never, ever gain a foothold in the areas that we have uh, pulled its pants off and made it live a naked and ugly sight for the population where we were. The same uh, for, for the areas where, where other, other people were. But it's interesting how some political parties are so easily disposed to the policy and cooptation of Swapo Party that they bask in the glory of their friendship with Swapo Party and that they feel the life thrown at them is one that they cannot do without. So going forward, the next five years uh, are going to be very, very interesting because if we have to go to parliament as LPM, we will have to play so dirty all the time that parliament will be so unruly we imagine even to literally buy X and just one day decide budget day that we are going to smash the X as whoever becomes president is coming in. It will be so ugly and so disorderly and so functionally crumbled that they will not be able to govern. Uh, what we'll also be call, calling upon people is to to make sure that whoever decides to <laughs> finally get the victory, that life is so ungovernable for that government that comes, uh, we'll have to do that. Unfortunately, we'll have to plan a very well orchestrated civil uh, disobedience campaign, uh, a very bad one. And I hope that in their midst, they will start killing each other. 
I'm hoping that those disenfranchised in the party that claims to be leading will start to kill each other, as they've always been doing, with guns, with vehicle accidents, with uh, uh, witchcraft, with uh, bullets, uh, and with food poisoning. I hope they will be killing each other. Uh, and you will see who they will start to kill first. So you will see it, and that will be an indication of who the person is that will be given the most blame. Yeah. Uh, two questions. Are you aware that um, the former Justice Minister Saki Shangala allegedly said um, he will not go down alone in this Fishhook scandal? Mm -hmm. And the second question is, um, are you aware that all opposition parties, or at least most opposition parties, in the parliamentary <coughs> building always complain about very slow internet? Uh, that they have a feeling that their phones are being watched or the communication in their phones are being uh, watched. So what would you do if you go to Parliament to avoid all that? Well, we are learning that we'll have to use cyber criminologists, you know, to uh, even direct funds from the thieves to LPM accounts, <laughs> to enrich ourselves through the thief. Uh, and, and thuggery that they, that, they, that they implement. I mean, I look forward to hacking into, through a cyber criminologist, uh, Shangalas and ESOs and Hage Kenko's accounts and set up an account maybe offshore and take about 1.23 billion and uh, build schools and houses for people and say, this is what the LPM does, restorative justice. So Shangala should not go down alone. Mm -hmm. Uh, he should talk about Sarah, he should talk about uh, 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 Chifeta, uh, he should talk about uh, Anjovi, but more importantly he must also talk about Semni Yoma mm -hmm. and also about Hage and uh, uh, how they did all of those things. And then, um, also, uh, he must also talk about BC Twirap and how some of the, the Numport facilities were probably used to bring in containers of money. Uh, some of them, which money we know where, on whose farm it was dropped. Uh, but of course, telling the roof again. Again, of course, the roof, and this time uh, in the in the in the crawl uh, cattle <laughs> cattle crawl and so on. So they must talk about all of these things. So I hope Shangala, uh, before they kill him, because I'm so worried about Shangala's life, because they know he talks too much. He talks too much, and ESO can deny even when he sees it's him. He can deny and make a funny lip move uh, and so on. So, I also hope, by the way, that they place them. I don't know, are they out? Well, they are yeah. hearing now. I hope they don't get granted bail because they are a flight risk, but also a danger to themselves. Uh, these guys can, can commit suicide. I hope yeah. they are taken to uh, maximum prison, maybe here in Vintuk, and given VIP protection by established criminals. Mm -hmm. Which criminals must help to massage them properly in prison? Uh, 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 without Vaseline. It is so important that they are trying to create a spectacle, spectacle of the law must not only be seen, must not only be done, but must be seen to be done. Uh, I wonder who is presiding, Prince Lu, for the bail application. Um, she was she was at ESO's. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who it is today. Either yeah. they probably put in a white magistrate. Yeah, probably. That's what they do. For specific reasons. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's what they obviously do. But I hope that they just don't get to be given bail, uh, and that they implicate that that their conscience really speaks to them, and that they use this moment to reflect and hopefully to repent. And as part of the repentance process, disclose all their sins and all their sin partners and begin to transform their lives into a meaningful, decent life for the sake of their children. So that we can also, as Jesus Christ gave criminal disciples opportunity to be disciples, 
so that we can also have a moment to reflect on their sins and perhaps forgive them. But they must really come out with the whole truth. And only then can they perhaps be relevant to the future of this country. But under the current circumstances, they must not be given bail. There are flight risks. The, 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 the interest of um, society will not be served if these fellows are granted bail. Uh, if they have diabetes and high blood pressure, they can be allowed fritures to put the medication in fritures and to allow them to have access to their medical doctors. And I had a case in, in Uchebarangu. That can be done, but they must really, for their own safety also, be put in prison, not be given bail, so that the situa situation of Kandara does, does not come to, to, to some of them. Uh, that is if tuberculosis don't finish them already in, in, in prison as well. I just want to ask the last question. Did you report this to the police or any other law enforcement agency? What is the What you've just... <laughs> Get the hell. No, I'm serious. Okay. Uh, maybe you have, you, have you approached other uh, NGOs, for example, the Legal Assistance Centre, to assist you with dealing with this matter? I mean, it, it, it's pointless to know that this is happening, uh -huh. and they're not taking immediate steps to rectify it, uh -huh. or to expose it. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have not done that. I think your advice on the Legal Assistance Centre may be, may be, may be relevant. Uh, but uh, to report it to the police, mm -hmm. to do what with it? It took WikiLeaks mm -hmm. to bring down two ministers, which the police knew what was happening. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, to report it to the system's problems and the system's uh, provisions to the system is, is not going to, to help. Uh, maybe you want to add something? No? I'm going to Web Street now, okay? Okay. Thank you very go, to, go to Web Street and, okay. and let's, let's see what is there. So, please, uh, you are late for 11 o'clock. Yeah, just, just um, a question to you, Mr. Swanboy, since you have been part and parcel of the, the whole Swapo setup while you were a Swapo member and you also became a deputy minister. Mm -hmm. But did you then ever query the strange press conferences the Electoral Commission mm -hmm. would hold and answer very vaguely on mm -hmm. media questions? Mm -hmm. Um, we've got a WhatsApp group now from the ECN. There is just no reaction to yeah. our queries yeah. since yeah. three days. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the Rukambas and the Isaks and the Muduros and the Uan Jarakanas, same old, same old, evasive answers. Mm -hmm. We will have the results. There are some hiccups. Mm -hmm. uh, we are sorry for that. Mm -hmm. did, did, did you never <coughs> think there is something, sorry for the pun again, fishy about fishy. that? <laughs> no, we, we've always thought about this thing. And there was a time that Isaacs announced that the <laughs> results would be, uh, be, would be announced now. And when political parties came, they saw a minister with intelligence going up to a specified room. So we've always been asking. But what we discovered is, Essentially, the elections, as what they've explained, are also not run by the ECN. They are merely a, a wishy-washy face of, of what State House has decided <coughs> together with the Indians. Uh, Bahra, is it Bahra? Bahra, that company. It is a company that the South Africans don't want to hear about, but they are using that company because we checked the list of the people uh, on the flight schedule uh, as they arrived. Uh, because we had to not go in check, uh, which, which people have now been deployed in regions. We, we, we checked that they are from that company and, 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 and that uh, Namibia tends to use companies that are of strange dark histories and practices uh, and that the Indians are essentially the ones running uh, this show. Now, what it shows which the ECN has been denying, is that that system can be hacked. It can be hacked. Well, that's what they are doing. This is what they are doing. But they denied it. When opposition parties asked, let's look at the 
integrity of your system. They denied that anything can be done. But we knew that there is the EVM that is problematic, and then there is the server mm -hmm. that is problematic. So they have now an offline system that they are using, realizing perhaps that, and, and last night one of our people actually checked, the system is also not very safe. This is not a very, it was, it was, it was, it was easy to, 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 to do certain things uh, on the server. Uh, that's how unsafe and, and insecure this thing is. But they don't mind that because the essential data is captured elsewhere on an offline, on an offline thing. It, it, it doesn't matter that you, that you, so what they then do is once the thing is loaded, it is at this point, this point that, that they are defending. This is the point at which they are defending. After Muyoro sets it through, here they, they defend. Here they defend. That is what, what we informed. Here there are five of them. So here they defend. Here, they check, they check. If someone has to come in here, this is where they check. And with the approval of this man here, these results must be out. And if they realize they can't control, they switch off the system. Yeah. They switch it on. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, yes. what is the name of the company? Is it Bach? Yeah, we'll give you the answer. Yeah. Bach, 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 a meeting where all the parties were supposed to sign the code of conduct yeah. and there was a protest of the, mm -hmm. the opposition parties. Yeah. The uh, ECN chairperson, advocate uh, Chief Weyer, gave an impromptu press conference mm -hmm. and I asked her about that specific room up there in mm -hmm. the ECN building. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even use the word secret, but she, she gave the answer and the said, Brigitte, the ECN. Mm -hmm. Now yesterday we found out by chance, mm -hmm. by an inquisitive colleague who is new to this whole election uh, system, mm -hmm. that uh, there is now suddenly an election results management room. Uh -huh. <coughs> uh, not, not just the verification, collation, justification, manipulation, whatever uh, mm -hmm. center or room. Mm -hmm. There is another one on the second uh, floor where obviously no media are allowed and mm -hmm. only two party agents, mm -hmm. the first political party. Mm -hmm. Do you have some people there in, uh, at the ECN? Yes. Are officially recognized as party agents? Yes, but maybe not party agents, but as uh, authorized representatives. Okay, then. Uh, where no cell phone is allowed, no notebook is allowed, nothing is allowed. Yeah. Uh, you are in there. Yeah. Is it what it is called? Sorry? Is it called that same name? No, what is it called? The result center, the result management center. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah you are not second. allowed, you get notebooks inside and then it's lacked inside. <laughs> I don't know, there's no <laughs> secret about that. There's a bit uh, I don't know, I, I can relate. Like, yes. You're always late. Uh, I'm sleeping here. I'm going to be sleeping. I'm going to be sleeping. I'm going to be I definitely mm -hmm. ask the question, serious question, about this uh, central results management center. We have been told that political parties, <coughs> uh, the media, and the observer should be allowed to access to this. But we get we get is allergic to this. But the thing is that I went to that room yesterday. But it seems like political parties, although they are agents there, so they don't know what's going on. They don't understand the system. They don't understand. They are just told no, this are people are coming from what constituency, but they don't understand how the setup of the system. Guys, I can send people that who might, I mean. <coughs> would understand what is happening today. And the thing is that when the results are sent up to be signed, the, that process was supposed to be transparent. But um, we all have been saying that political parties will be allowed to be part of this process of signing the results and announcing the results. But it seems like you guys are not taking, a, taking it up. So who do you blame when manipulation comes in? You were late, so I'm not going to answer. Maybe someone else can answer, but I'm not going to answer. Okay. Next question. We are done. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.